What is up YouTube fam? Today we are actually doing drum related stuff. I know we love doing camera stuff on the channel and I know I've only been talking about camera stuff on the channel, but that's because COVID made everything nearly impossible for me to be able to do any music and or drum stuff that I really, really, really want to do. But today I'm actually going to be with my friend Quasi. I'm helping him do something today, which is build a rack. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. So for any uh, old faces on here, you know what's about to happen. For any new people here, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> My friend Kwesi, who I've already mentioned on this channel, in fact, the last few weeks I had videos go up and had some dope music, and that music was by Mr. Kwesi Robinson, also known as Ayo Kwe. So today I'm actually gonna go build or help him build his setup for a band that he's in called 3 AM Tokyo. He wants a custom rack built and we both love building setups together. So I'm gonna help him with this one and we're gonna come up with whatever ideas we actually can, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And since I'm gonna take you guys along with me, I gotta bring as much gear as I possibly can so that I can make this the ultimate cinematic experience because why not? <laughs> What's good, Aiden? <laughs> YouTube? You should have been recording. You knew I was coming. I was in. I was in work mode. Uh, I can see. Yeah, what's up, Nicholas? What y'all working on? A little razzle dazzle. Little razzle dazzle. Woo! You know I gotta get beer room, right? We're working on this. Ooh, and this is Matt. Look, Matt Black. You might not get these back. So what are we changing? So I'm trying to get rid of this. So we getting rid of this? No. I might just put this here and do my 808 drop right there. Another boom arm somewhere in this area. And I'm, I might do another trigger here. Like how I got it over there. Right, that's a lot. Y'all, y'all gotta yes, see is. this nonsense that he put together over here. Just why though? This is pretty much my Devin Taylor replica Justin Bieber slash Quake kit. It was for research purposes only. I wanted to know why he set up that way. And I know exactly why he set up the way he set up. This joint is comfortable. Back to what we were doing before though. So we're trying to replicate that thing over here, but make smaller. it smaller. That's the challenge. I mean, it's, this is as small as it's gonna get, low key. So all you did was set the drums, right? Yep. Here, I'm gonna just put my trap hat, like how I got on that setup. So there's really not a lot to do, except we're adding an arm. Adding another boom arm for that. All right, I guess let's do this. Yes. So we're about to put some symbols on the kit just so we can get a feel as to what the setup is gonna look slash feel like and then figure out what we need to replace because this setup is actually gonna be staying on the truck. So when that truck comes back, anything that's on this, we will never see again unless it's him for a gig. So it just has to work. So when we're putting it together, we gotta make sure it's sturdy, it works, it ain't gonna break, all that stuff. This is what I got handed. This for sure. For Somebody been eating the symbol? It's just for reference, you know. For reference, but like, it's all warped. Oh my God. <laughs> Remo. Right there? Uh, keep coming. Right there. Do you want this house straight up and down or a little bit through? Uh, you could like tilt it back that way. Well, it's on this now. It is? So I gotta buy it. So we have some here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. So are we at a good stopping point? Mm -hmm. All right. So you want to figure out food and then Chick-fil-A. Where's the nearest Chick-fil-A? By oh, Guitar Center. By 
Good times in it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, look at the quake case. Until we I build it out. I kind of want to make my own because right now the only case that I have is the kick, snare, and everything else can fit in here minus one rack time. That's not really helpful. It's not. So there's going to be a case build version of this video? Definitely a case build. That needs to happen. We should probably get lunch though. Yes. All right. This guy forgot a mask. It's a sight to see Fat Man Quay vlogging. What's getting done? Yo, peep the mat, peep the mask. Link in the description. I need one, I got you. Bro, I should do these little hats. Gots to do the merch. This is the only hat that fits me with locks. Like the buckle he got, like that would not fly on my hair. Disney did it right, and I haven't seen a hat that looks like this since. So if you can get me some patterns like this with some hats and maybe maybe some other stuff, I mean, ninja up. let's go. Uh, futon. Of course. You know what you're getting? Oh, $93. What? That? Ooh, I don't know, bro. Right over here. Oh, no, bro. SPL. Cheapity cheap cheap. You sure? Yeah. And you need the short little army. So, and those are 44, 45. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it is. Oh, where? Oh, Bye. How much is this? 115.05. What? I actually might get the, the arm, the Tom arm. That money for what? Four or five objects? So you're gonna get it? I'm gonna get it real quick. I see $200 later. 3M Tokyo truck is here. Our deadline of getting this done early, early before they got here ain't really happening. Hey, what's up, Picasso? Always recording. Always recording. Try to eat this lunch while we work so I can get this stuff done. Thank you for the lunch. Oh uh, man, so that is done. I'm only a little bit behind schedule. So now I gotta go pick up some photos, go home, do some editing, and uh, also we'll catch up on some other stuff too I wanted to bring up, but let me just get home. Set desk lamp to 25%. There we go. A lot better. So what you guys got to witness was pretty much me working with a client. Now this particular client doesn't let me do a whole lot because we have generally the same ideas when it comes to setting up stuff and he already really knows what he wants to do. So it just makes my job a lot easier. But what exactly is a drum tech or why do people need a drum tech? What that is, is just me being able to set up the drums, fix things, change things, and even be able to figure out solutions for someone. So kind of like a, a consultant, if you will. Those situations come about in many different sort of ways, but for me and for Kwesi, it comes down to me being creative, coming up with different drum setups for him or with him, and I just pretty much much say well maybe you should do this instead or this would be more stable or change this around so sometimes we get really creative especially as drummers really in our heads about like just one really cool aspect of the setup that we want to do and we forget about the fact that the setup is supposed to be utilitarian meaning it's supposed to have purpose so for Quasi, his setups change a lot but i will say that his setups are super ergonomic and they're very very comfortable he's even done stuff for me. When it comes down to me doing drum tech work, I wanna make sure that the drummer is as comfortable as possible. And for this particular build, because we were doing a rack build, it has to be sturdy. It cannot move and if something moves it has to be easily replaced so that if i'm not there or if there's a general tech so for this particular band they're going to have a general tech i need to make sure that that person would be able to have an easy time replacing something if something breaks so we try to make everything look as cool as possible but be as functional as possible as well so that's just only a little bit of what you guys got to see it wasn't a whole lot we were only updating the rig that he had on the truck so that whenever he goes out they could just pull that off the truck set up and they're ready to go. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Shout out to Quasi for the lunch today because that was great. Also go check out his channel. Shout out to 3AM Tokyo for letting me crash their rehearsal and film them and all that fun stuff. Make sure you guys go check them out.
yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you are new here and you like this type of stuff, make sure you hit that like button, hit the notification bell to know when videos like this will be posted and subscribe to make sure that you get to see all the rest of these that come up. Leave a comment down below if this is something that you wanna see more of and I'll catch you guys in the next one.